Here's another case of dorsal midfoot arthritis, and in this case, it's the second and the fourth and fifth TMTs. So we're looking at Liz Frank's joint. So this lady's in for injection of three joints on that Liz Frank's complex. This patient was new to my team and was referred in with dorsal midfoot arthritis on top of metatarsus adductus. You can see from the lateral view there's quite a lot of arthritis going across the midfoot. And in fact, about a year ago she'd been seen by a different team and had a previous cortisone injection done here with a radio opaque dye to confirm needle placement. And this is a fluoroscopy image. So your, your apex of your pain, let's just see if we can work out where it's sorest. Anything sort of there? Can you? It goes over a bit more either over. side. Did yeah. you get any pain over here as I well? I do, yeah, a lot of pain there. Because we had a chat when we saw you in clinic the other week, yeah, you get that some is pain over worst, here as well. Yeah. So which is worse today, over the top or over the side? Over the side. Okay. So we'll try and really mark up some anatomy, then we'll confirm this with our x ray. Okay. So now, can I just get you to just bend that knee up for me, Jumpy? Yeah. Yeah. Just bend your knee and yeah. put your foot flat. Okay. It's hard. <laughs> um, so we've got second, third, fourth, fifth. So this is really our fourth, fifth TMT back here. So I think that fourth, fifth TMT joint is going to be about there. Second is going to be about there. Third is going to be about there. So we're, we're quite swollen here. And when we, see, when we look under the x-ray, we'll see whether that's more um, tarsal metatarsal joint there or whether it's an avicular cuneiform joint further back. And sometimes it's actually quite difficult to tell, and that's why we do it under the, the x-ray. Okay. Here, and I'm saying this as much for my colleague who's just out of shot, that's 4-5. Okay, so that will be our fourth, fifth metcubal joint. Okay, so let's, let's do a little bit of do the skin prep. And then we'll start. So we're going to do some skin prep to start with. We like a little bit of chloral prep. We've used these on other videos before. Just get it going. So Nick, we're going to start off with four and five. And we've just inverted the foot slightly. And we'll just do a little bit of skin prep. Just let that to dry. And then while you were all out having a cup of coffee this morning and I was working really hard. I've already prepped some local anaesthetic. So we've got a 2.5 mil syringe. It's got a mix of Kenalog with just a little bit of local anaesthetic. And I, I use the local anaesthetic for diagnostic purposes. So Julie, there's gonna be some local anaesthetic in this. And so we'll know within five minutes if it takes away the pain that the steel is in the correct area. Okay, and then what happens is the, the steroid itself will kick in over the next couple of weeks. Blue needle, you could, you could arguably use a smaller needle for this area, but we're going to use a blue needle for this one today. And we'll get just a little bit of gauze. And I'm actually, I'm purposefully allowing that chloro prep just to dry, just that it gives the skin a bit of prep. You don't want to um, prep and then jump in too soon. And then we've got some, some swabs. So we're just going to line up with our laser pointer. So we can see we're just a little bit forward so Julie just come in for me there that's great okay so Nick you take that needle for me okay so and it's going to be Julie three two one scratch so hold the syringe at that point there just with those two fingers okay that's great and then we'll take a little flash okay now we're really close there so Try and think about, see how that, that needle's going just a little bit back away. Angle it there and push it in just a smidge. Okay, and then now just hold it on the edge so you don't get your fingers in the x-ray beam. And we'll x-ray again. And you see we're right on the joint there. So, the last thing to do now is basically just try and see if we can feel and what I'm going to do. And sometimes you'll actually feel it just give at just there. So, fingers out again. Okay, just a smidge down. And actually, sometimes if you actually just move the x ray beam, you can really feel it. You can see that's really gone in there. Let's see what that looks like. 
Okay, I'm right. So, inject. Inject um, two thirds of that. Little sting coming up, Julie. Yeah, I'll die. So, it takes a bit of pressure, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, because sometimes you're up against tissue and the, the plunger won't go down. That's why we like to use a Lewis slip as opposed to a Lewis lock. That's good, that's going in. A little bit more, a little bit more. Super. And okay, out we come. Three, two, one, out. Okay, so that was good. And then we're going to reorientate because I want to do that top of the foot as well, Julie. So bend that knee for me, Chucky Egg. Oh, sorry. That's all righty. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit of pressure on there. We're going to put the beam back on. And we're miles away. So let's move this back a bit. Let's try that. Okay, I'm going to take a shot. Okay, and then we're just going to, I'm just going to just see if that's stopped bleeding there. Okay, Nick, just give me that syringe. So I'm just going to do where we've got that X marks a spot. Okay, so it's kind of right over the cuneiform. So I'm just going to just, just bend that foot down a bit for me again. That's great. So a little scratch, three, two, one. Okay, let's see where we go. Okay, so it's at his over the uh, mechanism there for. Okay, that really felt like it was going in there. Hold the needle out on the chicken egg. Okay, right, so inject that last one for me. And what you've got to do is keep that needle down because we're in the joint, so you've got to keep it down. Good. Out we come, three, two, one, out. And that's us done. So what we're going to do now, Chucky Egg, is put some dressings on. Yeah. We're going to keep an eye on you for five okay. minutes and we want that local anaesthetic to, to kick in. So we did one of these a couple of days ago. Yeah. It was also a little bit like, like yourself. It was difficult to know if we had the right joint, difficult okay. to know if the needle was in the right joint, yeah. in the right, if it was even in the joint. And um, yeah. within five minutes, all the pain had gone. Okay. So that's said, because that was the local anaesthetic, taking away the pain, yeah, sure. and then what happens is over the next two to ten days the steroid will kick in. Yeah. Questions, Julie, at all? No, no, I'm fine. All right, yeah. okay. I'll see Julie back in six weeks' time for a review, but like the injections she had about a year ago, we hope for six to eight months pain improvement, and then we can always think about plan B.